Hello world! In today's tutorial, we are going to build a personal math tutor with the OpenAI Assistance API. The Assistance API was released on OpenAI's first ever Dev Day. I'll show you an example in both Python and Node. Before we start, I want to emphasize that the purpose of my tutorials is not that you code parallel to me. For this matter, I always upload the full code to my GitHub profile. You can find the link in the description below. Now, let's get to the point. Prior to the OpenAI's Dev Day, the Assistance API did not exist at all. As the name says, the Assistance API is meant to build an assistant within your own application. It takes OpenAI models to the next level by using different tools. At the moment, the Assistance API supports three types of tools, code interpreter, retrieval, and function calling. It's important to mention that it's still in beta, meaning that OpenAI will add more tools in the future. I took this personal math tutor example from the official OpenAI documentation. While the documentation walks you through the example step by step, the most vital part of the code was not covered in the documentation, and I spent some time figuring it out, I'll show you what I mean. So let's look at the code. If we break the code down, there are basically six steps. I would point out step one and step five. Step one is where all the magic happens, while step five is the trickiest part, where open AI documentation is currently the weakest. I will comment on the Python example only because the node example follows the same logic. Step one, create an assistant. This is what the assistance API is all about. This is where all the magic happens. The open AI API used to be very bad at tasks, such as being your personal math tutor. Now, you can provide an open AI model and instruction by using the instructions parameter. In this tutorial, we want the assistance API to write and run Python code to answer our math question. See, this is why the assistance API is called this way. Basically, the assistant assists the open AI model, in this case by writing and running Python code. The open A model by default cannot do that. As I mentioned earlier, code interpreter is one of the tools that the assistance API currently supports. We provide the tool we want to use by setting the tool's parameter. Code Interpreter is the most suitable tool to use in order to build a personal math tutor, so we want to use this one. Step 2. Create a thread. There's not much to say about that. Step 3. Add a message to a thread. This is where we ask an open A model our math question. Step 4. Run the assistant. The instructions parameter is not required, but it can be fun, and the application will feel more personal if, for example, the open AI model addresses the user with their name and surname. Step 5. Periodically retrieve the run to check on its status to see if it has moved to complete it. This is the trickiest part. To get the assistant's answer to our math question, we need to wait for the assistant to write and run Python code. But how do we know when the assistant is done and has an answer? Well, we need to code a loop and periodically check for run status. While the assistant is still working on answering our math question, the run status will be in progress. When the assistant is done, the run status will change to completed. Then we can proceed to the next step. Step six, retrieve the messages added by the assistant to the thread. Simply retrieve the assistant's answer from the thread's message list. Now let's run Python example. This will take a while. As you can see, the assistant is currently writing and running Python code to answer our math question. Done. Impressive, right? Now, let's run node example. As I said, it follows the same logic as Python example. One little thing to mention is that there's a strange apology saying that the OpenAI API was experiencing some issues with the calculation system. For the past few days, there have been notices all over the place in the OpenAI documentation and in the OpenAI account dashboard that they have some problems experiencing some strange activity patterns looking like a D those attack. A PI, ChatGPT, and the documentation had been down a lot after the dev day. 
even without the DDoS attack, I guess there's an uptick in user activity that might cause these outages. I can assure you I ran this code just a few days ago, and there was no such apology. I simply got the answer. After all, if we did something wrong, we would get a 400 error. It looks like a problem on OpenAI side. Here you go. That's it. Thanks for watching. If this tutorial was helpful, please like, comment, and subscribe.